Hello, Jesse Good here, and today we're opening up 60 packs of LEGO Minifigures Disney Series 2, which does officially release on May 1st, 2019. However, I was able to get a full box a little bit early from eBay by paying a lot of money, but uh, let's see what's inside this first pack. It is Dewey, and I get him and Louie mixed up, so that's why a little cut there. But the design of this I'm actually really impressed by. This piece with the hat at the top actually attaches to the top of the head, and it's a hard plastic. I was expecting it to be maybe like a rubber hat piece. And you do get two slingshots, one as an extra piece. But next pack, let's see. Oh, there you go, Lou, Huey, Huey, Huey. Almost got him mixed up as well, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is Huey, and he has a Junior's Woodchuck Guidebook, which does also have a printed page inside, which is a one by two tile. Same build as Dewey and Louie, though, with the tail piece, which I did put upside down. Whoops, and the new hat piece and the new head piece. All right, next pack, let's see what's inside. It is, oh, Anna. Here is Anna. The design of this does have a new hair piece, which is rubber. I was expecting it to be maybe a hard plastic, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that because a lot of these rubber pieces don't really fit too tightly onto the head. You even see a little bit of a gap going on there. Her front face is just a neutral smile, and her double-sided back face is a winking expression, which is adorable. This is a new cloth design, and we do have some printing on the back of the torso. And her accessory is a lantern, which does use that piece introduced in the Lego Harry Potter line from 2018. Of course, we're just doing a quick look at all the minifigures. It's not going to be a full review until a couple of days from now. But before all this out, we get her sister, Elsa. So here is Elsa. The design of this also uses a new rubber hair piece. And she has a very awesome cape design. It's a harder material than her sister's, but I love the shine on it. She does have a snowflake as an accessory, some great torso and uh, the new dress piece printed, some arm printing as well, a winky facial expression, and then as an alternate face, it's just a more normal or even a more confident smirk we have going on there for Elsa. All right, next pack we have, oh, it's Edna Mode. Now we did get an Edna mode last year, but it was a very weak poly bag version as a promotion for a Lego Incredibles game. So this is a better version with a new hair glasses piece. Now you can see how that goes over the face and kind of illustrates her glasses on there and her eyes prints on there. But I don't know, I, there's something about not only the choice of this, because we did get this as a poly bag, but this glasses design looks a little bit creepy, honestly. It's kind of jutting forward, and I know it's supposed to be like an illustration of how it's magnified, but to me it just looks almost alien in a way. I do like her accessories where she has a teacup in white, also this mode printed 1x2 tile on a little modified 1x2 plate with the handle to make it look like a shopping bag. That's really cool. And she does have an alternate face where she doesn't look too amused. All right, next pack, let's see what's inside. And it is Sally. So here is Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this figure is super detailed. I love the colors on her. I also like the leg printing, which looks fantastic with all those different colors as well. Even little details like the stitch right there. She does have uh, sleeves, which are dual molded. And each of those are a different color. A new hair piece as well, which looks great. And I can see that being used outside of the setting. And an alternate facial expression, which it seems like all the minifigures with a traditional Lego minifigure head have an alternate face, which is really cool. Also, this accessory is neat where they took the stem piece from the Harry Potter CMF series, colored it black, and then put a little flower at the top. That's a really nice mini build. All right, next pack. And stuck. Looks like Jack Skellington. Yep, Jack Skellington. Here is Jack Skellington, and this is another great figure. And it seems like we might be getting these by series and just the organization on the box. We just got Sally, and now we got Jack. We got the Frozen sisters together. But the design of this does have a new piece for this uh, bow tie-esque build. And in our series, because we did have a custom series of this, we didn't even do a new piece, so I'm impressed by that. Also, this head can't have an alternate face because, you know, it's opened, so there's no hair covering it or whatnot, so he just has a big smile there. Love this gift box build, which the design of has printing all around, also printed 2x2 two two at the top, 
and you get two snowflakes, which you do get extras of. So you get a total of four with this figure, unless I lost another one, because I thought the original uh, little digital images showed that you get three. But uh, yeah, nice designs and a really great figure choice, in my opinion. All right, next pack. Let's open this one up. And it's Hercules. And I'm so glad they include Hercules in this series because it's not the most popular Disney movie out there, but it is one I grew up on. Love the shield print there. Also, we have some nice leg printing with even the sandal designs. Great torso that captures a very cartoony look that I like. His face is great as well with a bit of a tan to it. Also a new hair piece, which is very well made. It's a hard plastic. See, so yeah, I really dig this figure in general. Does have some back torso printing and he has an alternate face where he looks pretty darn angry and ready to fight. Well, I guess that Hades is next. Uh, some of them were out of order, like we didn't get the third of the triplets, we didn't get Frozo. Maybe it's gonna be wrong, but, oh no, we got Jafar. And uh, it was kind of close. I mean, it's another Disney villain, but uh, the design of this is awesome. I mean, Jafar in the new movie looks bad and also sounds boring, but Jafar from the original Aladdin is a classic Disney villain in general. Love this uh, headdress piece, which is super detailed and just its coloring and, and its mold all together. Also, we have some back torso printing. Lots of this new dress piece in this series as well. And this one, you just get it in a plain black, which is useful. He has a confident smirk right there. And then as his alternate face, <laughs> he looks pretty unamused. I love that expression. All right, next pack. Let's see. Frozone. Aha. Uh -huh. Totally cold that he would be in this series. Then again, I did that with a lot of the other characters in this series. But he was missing from the Incredibles 2 set, so it was a shame not to see him there. But this design looks fantastic. Love the dual molded legs. Love the new color for the Power Blast. Also, we get this disc which connects to the plate via a one by two jumper. So I'm glad they included that. And that is it for Frozone. All right, next pack, what we got going on here? It is, oh, Jasmine. Here is Jasmine. The design of this is actually kind of interesting. Well, first off, it's a great interpretation of Jasmine in Lego minifigure form. You do get this new dove piece as well, or sorry, dove piece. That is actually going to be used in, I think, a fairground set for City in the future. I'm not entirely sure. The design of this hair is the interesting part because we did get a Jasmine hair piece for the Lego Disney Princess line, and it was a plastic. This is a new mold that is a rubber. Huh. Usually it's the opposite around where the mini doll gets the rubber and the, the actual minifigure gets the plastic, but... I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that because, again, with rubber pieces, they don't really connect to the head that well. Another thing that's interesting is she does not have an alternate expression. One of the few with a uh, kind of covered hair piece that doesn't have an alternate expression. But it's not a big deal, and that is it for Jasmine. All right, next pack. Let's see what's inside. And, ah, that piece just went flying, but it is Chip or Dale. All right, this is Dale. I, I just had to verify it because I was like, I, I mix them up, but I know Dale is the one with the lighter uh, fur, but uh, the design of this actually uses a new, or not really new, but a fairly new mid-leg piece. We don't really get that often. New color for it, at least. Don't like how this back looks. I think the tail should have been like a piece or something like that. It looks very awkward. Other than that, though, a new head piece and also a nut sack right there as his accessory. All right, next... Ah, and it is Hades. As for Hades, the design of this is one of my favorites. He just has just that grin that Hades would have. Also, a new a leg piece, which is very elaborate. It connects on to four studs, which is perfect for the stand. The head piece, I think, is a recolor of the Ghost Rider one. Might be a new piece, though, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a recolor of that one with uh, two flames as an accessory, bada bing, bada boom, voiced by James Woods, and probably one of my favorite Disney villains in general because he's just so funny. All right, uh, this is our 14th pack. So far, no repeats. We're just going through the middle row. Lego has been, oh, literally when I say no repeats, we got another Dale. Here's Dale 2, Electric Boogaloo. And when I get a repeat, I'm just going to show the figure without the accessories from now on. So we're 13 for 14, and let's see what's inside this one. Still missing a couple of figures. Another Hades. 
Hades 2, Electric Boogaloo. All right, next pack. Ah, mini. Of course, this is a design that is the same as Steamboat Willie with very minor differences. This one is just a gray. It's not a silver like the Steamboat Willie set. Same goes with the legs as well for the shoe printing. I'm not sure if there's any differences in the hat though, but uh, yeah, very similar to Steamboat Willie one, but just a little bit different. All right, I want Scrooge McDuck. Please give me that one. I need it. Oh, we got Mickey Mouse, which has the same variation going on where the legs aren't a silver like the Steamboat Willie set, but rather just kind of a gray. Other than that, though, his accessory I really like. I like how they just included that whole thing as one piece in a gray coloring. So that is it for Steamboat Willie Mickey. All right, we're missing Louie, Scrooge, and Chip. So let's see. Oh, another mini. And here's Steamboat Mini. Didn't even put her skirt on since this is a duplicate. All right, next pack. It is. Mickey. Don't let this forget that we still haven't gotten a Lego minifigure for Goofy. All right, come on. Give me a Scrooge, please. He's like the one minifigure. Not the one I want only, but like the minifigure I want the most from this series. Another Frozone. And now he has two super suits, so I don't think he'll need any help finding that. So the first row is done, and we're still missing three minifigures. Scrooge, Chip, and Louie. So let's start with the second row. And... See who's inside this one. It is hard to open. Oh, Huey. And there he is. Next pack. Let's see what's inside. It is. Oh, Anna. It's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was gonna say. I've never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx. Jinx again. Our mental synchronization. I was totally off with that one part though. Come on, I, I still haven't gotten those three. And there's another Elsa. Let it go, let it go. This is made out of Lego. And it's our second one. This is becoming not fun. Cause I need Scrooge McDuck. That really bothers me anyway. All right, next pack. Let's see what's inside. I'll stop singing. Edna mode. And here's Edna. And here's Edna without her glasses. All right. If this is a duplicate, I'm going to mess with the back of this row because I think just the front is going to be the same order. Okay, we're messing with the back. But this is Sally. Sally says hi. And the design of this, still a very good minifigure. You can see her back torso printing as well. So this is from the back of the right row. This could actually be pretty dangerous as we might get triplets now. Or not the triplets I want to. <laughs> oh, actually, there you go. That is a triplet I want. It's Louie. And I'm remembering it now because Louie, Luigi, green, green. All right, we got this. Also, a flashlight. Same head and new hat piece as the other two, but that kind of makes sense. All right, now... It's, I'm still picking out from that back right there, so let's hope it's another new one. Nope. This is Frozone number three, <laughs> but it's all right. Okay. Next pack. <gasps> yes! It's Scrooge. Woohoo! The design of this is awesome. I love how he came out. A very revolutionary tailpiece there where it actually has a blue coloring on it. A lot of times before, like for Rocket Raccoon and stuff, you just see this ugly gray line for the tail, but uh, that's awesome. The legs have so much printing to them, which looks fantastic. You can even see on a little corner right there, just a little bit of printing. Also, he has a dime as an accessory, which is gonna be super useful when you get an extra one of those. A uh, new headpiece, a new hat piece that attaches at the top. This is my favorite figure of the series, and I love how Scrooge McDuck came out. Well, 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 that leaves us with one more figure. Ooh, hope I didn't cut into anything there. It is a chip that we need, and it is chip that we get. Here he is, Ch -ch -ch chip and Dale. 
Rescue Ranger, Ch -ch Chip and Dale. But of course, this isn't the version for Rescue Ranger. Still looks great, in my opinion. Love the specific headpiece they did, just like they did for Dale. The design of this does have an acorn as an accessory, which is a very clever build using existing pieces. It's a Mandrake piece for the base. I didn't know that initially. Still don't like how this back is printed, though I think it looks a little bit better on Chip. And the mid legs, once again, in a new color. I don't think we've gone in brown before. Am I wrong about that? But uh, yeah, very cool figure in general. So a little intermission. This is all 18 of the minifigures in Disney Series 2, ordered by series. And this is not going to be a full review, but we still have a lot of packs left. Around 30-ish, maybe less. So let's continue to opening up to see what duplicates we get. All right, now let's continue on that grind. Another Scrooge McDuck. It does look a little bit weird without that top hat. Next pack. All right, I'm going to have to use the box cutter for pack. But it's chip. Oh, now we're getting repeats of the ones I need. Next pack. Hades. That's our third of Hades. So, yeah, lots of him. All right, another one. Dale. That is our third Dale. So I guess Dale and Hades both have three per box, or maybe even four. Okay, next pack. Let's see. Another Hades. That's Hades number four. I think the triplets actually have two of each per box, so you can only get two sets if you buy a box of added. But, uh, oh, this is Dale number four. I wonder if Chip has four per box as well. Okay. Jasmine. Ooh, that might have been a bit too bright. Next bag. Which Jafar. There he is again. That's only our second one. Next bag. Jack Skellington. Here's just a raw Jack Skellington with no extra shoulder piece, no coattail piece. Just those three pieces right there. All right, next pack. Let's open this sucker up as I clumsily cut it with scissors. And it is Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. So we're moving on to the left row, the last 20 packs. And so far I'm only missing a repeat of uh, Dewey and Louie. And then I will have two complete sets for the series. But this is another Anna. This is actually Anna number three. I could see there being four of her and Elsa in this series because it's freaking frozen. I mean, come on, guys. Next pack, this will be the one that I keep as a demo, so I don't want to open it too hard in the front. It is Louie, or sorry, Dewey. So we just need a Louie, and then we'll have two complete sets of this series from this one box. All right, almost done. Got less than 20 packs left. It's another Elsa. Like I said, there's probably another Elsa and Anna in this very box, but this is our third. All right, next pack. It is. Oh, so sorry, Chip. Another Anna. There you go. That's a fourth. And there she is. All right. Next pack. There's our fourth. There's her confident look. All right. Next pack. Another Edna, which is our third. All right, another pack. It's Sally, which is our third as well. All right, almost finished here. Let's see what we got. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Well, you guys always warn me, be careful with the scissors because this just happened. Should have listened. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Jack. Either way, at least I got three Jack Skellingtons already. Okay, so there's like 13 packs left. Well, let's do this. Another Hercules. Still a really cool figure, but this is our third one. All right, next pack. Another Jafar. This is Jafar 3. All right, another one of these packs. Another Jasmine. Jasmine number three. All right. Another chip. This is chip number three. Open this one up. Another Scrooge. Scrooge number three. All right, another pack. Let's 
shift number four. So let's add him. Now I think we have four of each of those. It's our seventh to last pass. Another Scrooge. Cool, so that means there's four Scrooge McDucks per box. So there's six packs left, so let's do a three pack opening on one. So I, I haven't done this too often, but uh, I think I did this with uh, Harry Potter series. Okay, let's open all those up. And another mini, another Mickey, and another Mickey. <laughs> Sorry, I think I said I got two Mickeys. I actually got two Minis. That raises our total to four Minis and a total of three Mickeys. I'm sure there's going to be one more Mickey soon. All right, last three packs. I'm sure one of these is an extra Mickey, maybe an extra Edna, because I think she's four per box. I'm not really sure. All right, so first pack is... Okay, another Louie. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because we only got... That's only our second Louie. Next pack is another Mickey. All right, so we fold that. And our last pack, another Frozone. Well, I just added those last three to the whole box breakdown. I didn't really need to close up them. And yeah, so this might not be the same for every box. I open a North American box, but here's what I got. So we got fours on the front row. And then we have some threes back here. The only characters you get two of per box are the triplets and that kind of makes sense because they are very similar so in a way you're getting like six of a very similar character but yeah i mean it, a lot of these make sense too like of course mickey and minnie will be the most and elsa and anna very popular frozone a very popular character who's in a recent movie uh, some surprises though like i'm kind of amazed they did four chip and dale and four of hades but still good choices so either way that's it for the opening section and one last thing i want to take a look at are the instructions yeah, no tease for any upcoming series. They really stopped doing that. Uh, I guess, what was it, like with Series 17 or something? And if you're wondering how this coloring compares to the coloring of C's or Series 1, you could see that the Series 1 is a lot darker. I originally thought they were just the same color, but I was wrong. But that's it for now. Stay tuned for the review. I'll probably put it as a card at the end right here once I put it up. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.